been through hell and back. <laughs> As always, with these people, my goodness. Oh, uh, Maxi Mall, that's it. Ben, ben. Where? Maxi Mall. Oh, this is Maxi Mall. So this is the Maxi We've been coming to the Maxi Mall. <laughs> Later on, guys, we, are, we have an appointment with our OB. You we are able to see your baby C's face. And oh my goodness, guys, I am I'm in love. Good afternoon, people. It's 3.49 and as you guys heard, Marco is playing around his, his new guitar. Can you guys believe it? I'm actually editing a video. I didn't take any nap at all, which I'm very proud of because I feel like I have a hard time sleeping at night when I take naps. What face is this? I'm trying to be more updated with the vlogs because I noticed that my vlogs are a week behind. Maybe you guys like updated vlogs. I have no idea. Maybe you guys can let me know what vlogs you like. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we will see. I know that it is a little bit stressful to do. Well, not like stressful in a way, but like it's, it would be a little hard to do because if let's say, for example, I am filming right now and then I upload this one tomorrow. It's doable, I guess, but maybe we can just shorten the the delay of our upload. I think that's the best thing to do. Oh, it's almost four and our appointment with our OB is at 7 p.m. So yeah, we have to get ready maybe around 5.30. I'll start getting ready. Oh yeah, we received these clothes from my from my mom-in-law. I'll put you guys here since there's better lighting here. You guys can see me better. You guys can see my eye bags better. She gave this to me usually what she does. And she didn't buy this from you guys, okay? She didn't like go to a shop and buy it from me. So what she usually does is she buys something, like she always buys clothes, like she likes buying clothes, but not like expensive clothes. Now the thing is, if it doesn't fit her, she gives it automatically to me because she doesn't like, you know, fit things. So if it doesn't fit her, then she gives it to me. That's what I just said. So here's just a few things that she gave. Let's start off with... This one she was explaining, this is kind of like, this is actually heavy. It's just a plain shirt. And I think this is perfect for me right now because because first off, it's really thick. It's like cotton in the inside. I don't know where she got this. I know she's already, she usually laundries it already. So yeah, it smells like it's laundry. I think this one would fit me really well because my stomach is getting bigger. Another thing that she gave me is a blazer. She likes blazers a lot or cardigan. And another thing she likes is like bling bling. You know, bling bling ma. Shining, shimmering, splendid, which I don't really wear, but you know, you can't say no, so you just accept it. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> Whoa, naman si mother. Oh, pak. Ganyan. Oh, look at this design right here. I don't know how I'm going to wash this in a washing machine. Hopefully it doesn't ruin our washing machine. And it actually looks new. I don't know if she... Oh, look at the design, guys. This is actually a skull. Oh, I didn't notice that. That's so cute. Oh, I actually like it then oh, because of the skull. You know what? Let's, let's try it on. Maybe she didn't notice this, this had a skull in it. So. Uh-huh. So this one, I don't think I would ever wear outside. But, you know, it's something that you can wear, I guess, inside the house. Obviously, I can't close this one anymore. Yeah. And... <laughs> The color is kind of like teal blue, oh, teal blue, teal green. No, no, it's teal green, not teal blue. Camera, it looks like it's blue, but trust me, it's teal green, so. And our last item for the day is, this one I think is really cute. And it's also another uh, cardigan. Cardigan? Is it cardigan or blazer? I don't know. I grew up knowing that these things were blazer. And anyway, it's just something that you put over your inner shirt, so. I know that she bought this at the market and look at this brand, guys. This is united colors of benetton so this i know she bought at the market because usually when she has branded things like this i'm not saying that she can't afford it obviously she can't afford it but she wouldn't buy really expensive things and because she has other you know clothes from the market that are like from h&m from united colors of benetton so it's a really really great market to go to it's just that this covid kind of Ruin things. This one is cute. Um, it's also it's also got buttons on it, which is I'm kind of a little bit uh, worried about. Wait, and it is in the color. What is it on camera? On camera, it looks like really red, but it's more of in person. It's more of red orange. <laughs> I heard you. What? Did you fart? Oh, oh, on the camera. oh there he is. <laughs> See you soon, people. I'm going downstairs. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a haul from Mama's clothes. <laughs> yeah, this, these are cute. This one I like because I feel that red is kind of my color. This is so your mom. Oh my God. <laughs> 
What do you say, my love? So my mom, which is really so my grandma is your... <laughs> That's true. This huh? is so your mom is... But I don't think she noticed this. Look at this. What is it? Oh my god. <laughs> so... It's cute though, no? It's cute, yeah. It's not really your style. Uh, this part, no, but I, I think it's cute. Maybe I can remove this one by one. It's so his mom, like she's she really likes this bling bling. She so. likes she likes shiny things. Shiny, she likes shiny. Not too shiny though, no? Yeah, that's what she likes. And also her mom, so I think she got from her mom. So this one is really cute. I would definitely wear this. Um like I think the best thing to wear inside would be either color white would be the best or color black, which I am currently wearing inside like that. So this is what color black looks like inside, Again, but I think white would be better. I think it's just too much of darkness and you want to put a little bit of light in there. Pretty cute, right? That's it for our haul, guys. Thank you to my Swoshere. Swoshere? I never know how to say this word, but yes, thank you for these beautiful tops that I received. Another thing that she gave us that Mark brought was this type of... It's not a cake. Um, babe, what do you call this? This pie? She said it has rice in it. It's well, not rice, rice, but like a rice for dolce or something. It looks like a pastilla. Yeah. We call it pastilla. It looks like uh, the pastilla di grano, but I don't it think it's. I don't think it's that. But yeah, but it tastes it's not good. Sweet, no? it's, kind of it's not. She said she didn't put a lot of sugar in it. It's got like dried dried fruits in it. Um, I don't know if it's Napolitan, I don't know if it's Italian, but if you're from Italy and your mom-in-law makes this, let me know what this is called. She also gave us this, I have no idea what this is, like that. Um, it's got almonds inside, like a type of biscuit. Um, I don't think this one is sweet, so no idea, maybe we can try it later. But right now I am incredibly full. I ate so much during now. I ate a lot of this pie that she gave. You know what this pie reminded me of? It reminded me of the egg pies in the Philippines from Goldilocks. It has to be from Goldilocks. I love those egg pies. Yeah, it doesn't taste the same because the egg pie is egg pie. This one is kind of rough. Rough? Oh, hingal is real. Okay, I'm gonna finish with this video so that I can have it uploaded and I have nothing to worry about for tomorrow. And Ayun. All right, guys, it's 5.30 and I just finished editing. And now I'm actually gonna get ready because we are leaving around, I get copyright with Marcus Music. Um, we are going to leave around six so we can be there a little bit earlier because when he, we're there a little earlier, he takes a longer time to do the scan and we can see baby C a lot. So, so I'm gonna get ready. Um, I'm just putting the stuff away that my mother-in-law gave me. I'm very, very, Lucky, I must say. Napakaswerte ko sa mother-in-law because she really cares about us. So, thank you, mother-in-law. <laughs> we are on our appointment with the doctor. I'm waiting outside because he closed the door. We actually bought a few things outside because we came here really, really early. We'll see how this scan goes and I will update you guys later. Okay, guys, we're finally inside. And guess what happened? The doctor actually moved, <laughs> but we didn't know. We were waiting at the door, right? And then there was actually no one in there because they moved the place right here around the corner. And then there was this pregnant woman who came out. She said, you guys know that the OB moved? And we're like, oh really? That was good to know. Anyways, we're in a brand new studio. There's no one. Yeah, because also you see like a lot of the doctors moved into another building. Maybe they rotated things around. We're really excited to see baby C. And what time is it? It's uh, 20 to 7. I'm kind of early. Appointments at 7. I hope he doesn't press too hard because I need to pee. <laughs> there should be a bathroom here. Though. No, I don't want to go to bathrooms here. I have something with public bathrooms. I don't know why I don't like them. Anyways, I'll update you guys. Hey guys, happy Saturday morning. This is actually a continuation of the vlog that I did on Thursday. So I just wanted to update you as to what happened with our 24 week appointment with our OB since I wasn't really able to vlog inside and I never vlog inside anyways so every time we go to our appointment guys um, my OB always does the ultrasound and it's not just like a regular ultrasound he also does the 3d 4d ultrasound which is a really really good thing because we were able to see our baby C's face and oh my goodness guys I am I'm in love but 
Before that, before I show it to you, there isn't really much update that I can give to you because everything is going good so far, thank goodness. But there's just, I guess, two things or maybe three that I wanted to update you as to, you know, what happened with our appointment. So the first thing would be he prescribed me Pelvidol because the problem is, it's not really a problem, but sometimes I feel that baby C is kind of low or I'm carrying low with baby C. So it kind of pulls the pressure down or I just feel a little bit of pressure and I experience Braxton Hicks as well which is completely normal you know at this time and also our OB you know confirmed it that it's okay he was also able to check that you know the baby's position is good he's not you know super 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 low everything is closed and they shouldn't be you know nothing is open I mean to say let's say the uterus is not open or my cervix is not open so nothing is going to fall out so everything is good in terms of that this pelvidol is just to help me I guess feel a little better I guess it's just to lessen the discomfort that I sometimes feel so this has magnesium and I read somewhere that magnesium is good when you feel you know just kind of a Braxton Hicks or something like that but yeah I'm not I haven't really researched into it I started taking this after breakfast so let's see how we go with this another thing that he also well not really he prescribed it to me but I also wanted to use it is that I started using this support so he did say that to help with the pressure, I can't really say it's a pressure, but you know how baby C is kind of, since I'm feeling that he's, I'm carrying low, the weight is low, like here in my, in my belly. So it's just to support it, I guess, because our baby is kind of big. <laughs> he is actually a week bigger than you know his gestational age which is okay my doctor says it's fine he said you know to help with the discomfort as well besides the pelvidol i think that you should start using a support and a good thing about this is i can also use this after i give birth so you know for postpartum so this support i actually ordered online uh, we ordered this on amazon i'm not quite sure what the brand is but if you guys are interested in this i'll leave the link below this was only i think around 13 euros i have already used this i usually wear it when i am doing house chores so let's say washing the dishes or uh, just walking around the house or cleaning or something because i feel that you know since my belly is kind of there's weight in it. I feel that I'm also slouching a lot. So this helps with my posture, po posture, posture, posture. So, and I feel it when I'm washing the dishes, I feel that I'm not slouching as much. So this support is really, really great. And it's not like a big, it doesn't really cover a lot in your belly because you just need it in the bottom. I'll just show it you guys how I wear it. All right, so here is baby C, right? So I just put it like this right where he is just like that so this is velcro all right so you close it by velcro at the back and you can tighten it you can loosen it it really depends there you go you don't even realize it's there so obviously i don't use this when i'm sitting down because i, do, I just don't feel as much pressure and also when i am laying down so it's just mainly when i walk around the house when i do house chores or the times when i am um, standing up for a long time now let's just give a little update uh with our baby our baby c is growing guys he is really really growing and as i as i mentioned he is actually bigger than his gestational age so he's 24 weeks or he was 24 weeks when we had our appointment so he was 24 weeks in one day the ultrasound the 4d ultrasound showed that he was actually 25 weeks in a day, so exactly a week ahead, which is completely okay. It's completely normal. His weight is really good. Um, he weighs, I think, 769 grams. And I have to check if that's within because I feel that it's a little big for 24 weeks. The first time that we tried to look for his face, he was actually covering it with his hands. He was like this. Later on, we checked his face again. He then had his legs up, like his feet was right here. And you know how flexible they are in the womb. So. His feet was like up here and he also had his hand and at some point he, it looked like he was scratching his um, his face or his forehead with his feet. So that was really cute to see. My OB also told me to do the glucose test. So if, just to check if you have, you know, if you're positive for the gestational diabetes, which is 
I think it's pretty common to get when you're pregnant, but of course it's not good for you and it's not good for your baby. So fingers crossed, I hope that we test negative for that and I hope I pass all my tests. We're going to do the glucose test, I think the end of November. He said that there's no point to do it now because I will see you in December sometimes. Um, I'm not really sure how the glucose test goes, but yeah, I guess we shall ask the lab here. I just wanted to show you baby C's face. <laughs> Look at his face, he's so angelic, look at this, look at his lip. His nose, I must say that mm, it looks like he has a Filipino nose. I mean, whatever it is, whatever his nose looks like, I'm pretty sure that he's going to be the most adorable baby ever. The OB actually also said that he's actually chubby a little. I don't know if he's over exaggerating. The thing is, this doctor sometimes, you know, jokes around, but he says that he's actually meaty or chubby like he's he's starting to look more human now and if you guys remember the ultrasound that i did last i was 20 weeks he was still kind of like skinny but now he's you know he's gaining more weight i mean considering that he's 769 grams it's a very very exciting um journey guys we are so so excited to see him to be with him and so far my pregnancy has been really really great and that is actually it for our video for the day guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up that would really really help my channel i'm sorry if this video isn't as long as my usual vlogs but yeah i just wanted to update you as to what happened to our appointment if you're new to my channel if you haven't subscribed please click on that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell just so that you are notified once I upload another vlog or video. It's been a great video once again, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.